know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. God bless you. You may be seated. Isabel, get for me Lamentations chapter 3. Whenever you get into God's presence, I want you to expect to break some yokes. Expect to break some yokes. Expect what? To break some yokes. Many people are not succeeding because they are moving around with yokes. As long as you are yoked to the enemy or to the devices of the enemy, your progress is limited. So, church is, is primarily about breaking yokes when you operate in Africa. Because many Africans are yoked to a lot of negative things. It's unfortunate, but you were born in Africa. And because of ignorance, our forefathers yoked us to so many things, thinking they were helping us, but they were actually putting us in bondage. So, you must get yourself free from a lot of yokes. So aggressive prayers are required to free yourself from yokes. Now, if you don't free, free yourself from yokes, you can grow with the yoke. You can grow with the yoke. Grow old with the yoke. So it is to your advantage to break yokes when you are still young. Even as young as Gogoma Sam, she's young. She's in the youth in this church. Lamentations 3, I think, give me verse 27. What does it say? Lamentations 3, verse 27. Mm -hmm. It is good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. It is good to deal with that yoke in your youth. It is good to break it while you are still young. Otherwise, you'd be single at 49. And still looking. And speaking English about it. There's no woman fit for me. I'm still looking. You can look until you're 56. Because if you don't break the yoke, if you don't break the yoke, if you don't break the yoke, things will not change. So there are many yoked Christians. Being born again doesn't guarantee the breaking of yoke. No. What breaks the yokes? It is increasing the anointing upon your life, personal anointing. This is one of the biggest problems in the body of Christ. People think anointing is just for the men of God. No. You need your personal anointing. You know what you are going through more than me. Why, why get excited when I prophesy one thing happening in your life? One thing. You know everything. So if you have a personal anointing, you break every yoke. Maybe God can use me just to break one yoke. What about the other 59? But if you realize in your life that there's this problem, this one, this one, you don't have to wait for anyone to prophesy. You just start dealing with the yokes. So your job is to look for enough anointing to break the yokes. Are you getting it? It's important to increase your personal anointing. It's important to increase your personal anointing. Yes, you must follow someone who's anointed. But it's more important for you to increase your personal anointing. Increase your personal anointing. Increase your personal anointing. Build up your own anointing. He says in Jude chapter number 1, verse number 20, building up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. You must build yourself up. You must build yourself up. Now, one of the problems we have in Africa 
is that uh, there's an issue of being used spiritually by someone else. This one is very prevalent in Africa. People are, have, have yokes of their family members upon them. Go to Genesis 49, I'll show you. Yokes of family members. Crew of family members who use people's virtue. The Bible says in the book of Acts that, I think it was a damsel, who the master made a lot of money because of her. Do you see it there? That means she was Chikwambo. I refuse for someone to make money using my virtue. That amen is paralyzed. I refuse for anyone to make money using my virtue. You must refuse. And this is one of the most common witchcraft aspects in Africa. And it's in the Bible. He says, you shall not work and another eat. That's what he says in Isaiah. That is because you have been yoked and you are working for someone spiritually and they are benefiting financially. That must come to an end today. You must come to a service determined that anyone who is using my power and my might to make money, I decree, I am breaking that yoke today in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says that you shall enjoy the works of your hands, not you working and someone else enjoying Hallelujah. It must come to an end because many of you, many of you, you are too nice to break yokes. The Lord told me to tell you, you are too nice to break yokes. You need to break yokes. And the other thing he said is many of you are too inconsistent. Because to break something, you've got to keep hitting. So sometimes you've been hitting something for a month, two months, three months, it's not breaking. It doesn't mean stop. You might stop, you only needed one blow. And what happens is that if you've been hitting and hitting and hitting and you've weakened that thing, and if you're left with just one blow to break it, and then you stop, those people, they go and reinforce. Keep hitting, because some of there are people who are yoked by their mothers. So because it's your mother, you're refusing to hit hard. It's your destiny. I don't need my mother. I'm not still breastfeeding. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. There are mothers that are witches. You see here in deliverance. Ah, dear mama, it's a witch. Hit that witch hard. Are you listening to me? A time has come when you must break the yoke from your family members. Hallelujah. Otherwise, you will serve your family members. They will make money at your expense. I refuse. Personally, I refuse. I refuse. I will enjoy the works of my hands. You've got to be radical in spiritual warfare. Life is not a fanfare. It's a warfare. If you are Mother, if you are Mother Mary, you will not succeed in this platform. You live in Africa, not Sweden. Where they want to eat your child. Salivating, looking at your child's thigh. Baby, your, your, your small baby say, Hey, that's nice lunch. Africa. So if you are soft. You die softly. Killing me softly with his fingers. <laughs> I'm telling you. In Africa, I think the demons in Africa, they are so powerful. In Africa, that's why you hear demons say, ah, takangu jama The person is walking, but the intestines are finished. Africa. No, the terrain you're operating in. You can't use a 323 three going up in Nyangani Mountains. Don't just say a car is a car. You need the right equipment. You are an African. Imagine with the English you speak. You should have gone far. <laughs> the only proof of education in your life is good English. We suspect this one. He went to a... a 
<laughs> Chisku. You don't know Chisku? <laughs> How much your school fees? 5,000 US dollars. How much do you have in your wallet? Five bond. That tells you that there is a yoke. I'm very serious. I'm not joking. I'm very serious. Listen to me. Oh, thank you, Lord. The Lord said there are some yokes you will never break until you are angry. You need to get angry at certain situations. Are you listening to me? And say no more this situation. Your business idea is too powerful for you to be hungry and moneyless the way you are right now. Refuse. That's not your portion. And one of the things that the Lord was ministering to me, Pastor Shpesi, he was ministering to me about national yokes. Many Zimbabweans, you are under national yokes. You need to break yourself free from that yoke. You can't fix the economic problems in your country. God told me. He says, he says don't try that. It's not your problem. He says, free yourself from the national yokes and free others who are willing. Help them. Teach them how to be free and to stay free. I'm not under inflation. What is inflation? I'm free from the yoke of inflation. I'm free from the yoke of exchange rates. I'm not affected by exchange rates. Exchange rates for who? It, and it is a personal decision to free yourself from those things. Hallelujah. You read too many newspapers. That's the problem with you. And you believe what you read there. Hallelujah. You know, I came to this consciousness. And I'm not against the government. You know that. I, I've got no problem with the government. Absolutely no problem with the government. They know that they can't help me. Listen. Your problems are not solved by the government. If you understand that, you will move away from politics. From the days of Isaac until now, the economy is upside down. Some of you are not even born by the time they started Isaac. Economic structural adjustment program has not solved any to, to date. So there are national yokes, people who are yoked by the economy of the nation, affected by the decisions made by people who don't even know what they are doing at Reserve Bank. Take. In Rubaso, we are both working. Let him do his job. His job should not affect mine. Mine should not affect his. Am, am I teaching you something? Because you'll be waiting for the next elections. You will be hungry while you're waiting for the next elections. Yeah, next election. When is the next one? 2020 what? 23. You are only 19 now. <laughs> there are people who wait to have children waiting for next election. It doesn't affect anything. If you are in the kingdom, take dominion. A creature of dominion is not affected by the economy. Is not affected by who's in government, who's in power, who's not in power. Hallelujah. You take authority in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. And if you don't believe what I'm saying, you will suffer what people in the economy are suffering. Disconnect yourself spiritually from the economy. Every yoke in the economy that is holding other people down is not my portion. Where others say there's a downsetting, I say there's an uprising. Is that not what the Bible says? It means if everyone in the economy is going down, I'm going in the opposite direction. I'm going up. Hallelujah. Why? Because I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. Hallelujah. I bank with the reserve bank of heaven. He said, I'll open for you the, 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 the treasures of heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You are a child of God. You need to disentangle yourself from these yokes. So there's family yokes. There's national yokes. Are you listening? And then there's international yokes. Donald Trump is still trying to yoke Zimbabwe today. You say slavery has ended. It has not ended. How many countries are working for IMF right now? 
IMF just said, reduce your cabinet. That's what you need. I'm trying to set you free from that yoke. Have, has, has, has the president ever fought America? He said, reduce your cabinet. But you know the problem? The rich ruled over the poor. That means that the poor is under the yoke of the rich. If the wealthy person in your family is not saved, you are under the yoke. Because they give all your names, including your second name. Awali Tito Kusoba. They even write Tito or Toto, whatever it is. I don't know. Let's just say Tito. Is that remar? No one can order that in Jacques or Unuko, Unuko Tender Zahar. You just tend to the hurry and in Tito in there. These things are going in circles. Am I telling the truth? And then you, a child of God in church, you say, You need to jump out of that hurry today. You are not listening to me. You need to jump out of that hurry today. And if they are women... You dream of the same spirit husband. The whole, all of you 11 girls dream of the same spirit husband. Why? You are under a yoke from a family member. I don't partake of uh, economic problems in the world. What economic problems? Look at my shoe. It just tells you I'm, I'm just not a partaker. I mean, I, I run out of colors to buy. There are some colors you wear just to tell poverty that, you know what? It's an, this color is unnecessary. You don't understand what I'm talking about. You just need to take authority. And when I buy, I don't look at price. Price for what? The days of looking at price are over. It's, it's the question is, do I like it? If I like it, I say to the shoe, you are going home with me to join the, uh, the other troop of others. Come, let's go. What, econo what world economic problem? Why are you partaking? Yes, now his inflation is sitting at 300. And why are you partaking? Break free from that yoke in the name of Jesus. And it starts with the mindset of dominion. I'm not a partaker. Hallelujah. There are sons and daughters in this house who own a salary of 800 bond are building houses. I can't mention names. But I'm telling you, I know I'm, I'm their pastor. They give a tithe of 80 bond, but they are building. Because they freed themselves from these yokes. Are you understanding me? They are here every morning. Either husband is here or wife is here. Breaking yokes every single morning. Decreeing that this is not my portion. And when I preach, they are not sleeping, they are taking notes. When I declare things, they are saying the same things I'm declaring. When I say lift up their hands, they lift up their hands. Are you understanding me? Why? Because they are aggressive. It takes aggression to break these yokes. Hallelujah. It takes aggression to break these yokes. You've got to be aggressive even the way you sit in your seat. It's like you're half asleep. You've got to be desperate. Hallelujah. Look at the way the man of God prays there. He's got so much power and anointing. But when I say something, he says it. There are people here, for years we've been coming. When I say, say this. Uh, kutango ameta, kutango ameta lemon. Kutango rukushu na gonye. You can't come 
carrying the presence of God with an attitude. You've got to come aggressive. Hallelujah. This thing for you to prosper in this. In, because even if you travel, they'll say, how do you do it in Zimbabwe? But because they, basically they're saying, you know what? I mean, I, I can't do it in that your country. He says, so I believe that there are five rates. What is eco cash? I, I hate about eco cash. And then there's a, the other one, there's bond. Then there's a swipe. Then there's the bank rate. Then there's the real rate. How do you do it? I just say, give me what I bought. Let me get out of your shop. You don't understand what I... <laughs> How is Mugabe? I don't know. That's what they ask you when you travel. I don't know how the old man is. Google, I don't know. I don't care. I, me, I care about my personal life. Are you understanding me? Me, personally, my life. Why do you want to live in groups? Not me. I refuse. It, I sound stubborn because life is stubborn. Are you understanding me? You've got to be stubborn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was looking, my infant is, I was looking and I was checking in this church. The young girls who are married now, Isabel, aggressive on fire for God. Powerful word, mercy, aggressive. Are you understanding me? Melissa Chimchembere, very aggressive, very powerful. Tito, very aggressive in the spirit. They don't miss prayer. These Anamis bouquet, they just come when they want it. You grow a beard before you get married. Take this thing seriously, hallelujah. And make up your mind that I've got to change my position. What did you come, come for a season? You come, 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 you come, you cry, you pray. You lay. Then after that, you disappear, three months. The time you've disappeared, the devil. If you had put wooden yokes there, he's changed them to iron. The next time, you just, you just make a, a promise. Could you know this is not unto marriage and the pressure. Because a yoke now has changed from wood to iron. You've got to break the yoke when you're still young. Hallelujah. It means you will not enjoy the rest of your life. If you grow with that yoke, I refuse to grow old with a yoke. Hallelujah. When I see someone smoking, I see someone with a yoke. I see a person yoked. Yoked by a cigarette. When I see someone drinking, that is a yoke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've got to break the yoke in your life. Hallelujah. You know you've got sexual yokes you need to break. You know you need to break. You don't need anyone to prophesy. No, you don't need that. You yourself, you know that there are yokes that must be broken off your life. Hallelujah. So you've got to be aggressive. And if you check your forefathers, they died HIV positive. If you don't break it, you'll go in the same road. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, break that yoke. Shout, break that yoke. Shout again, break that yoke. Shout, I'm breaking that yoke. Shout, I'm breaking that yoke. I didn't say whisper. I said, shout, I'm breaking that yoke. Shout, I'm breaking that yoke. While I'm still young, I'm breaking that yoke. Spirit husband, spirit wife, I'm breaking that yoke. Family yokes, I'm breaking you. National yokes. I'm breaking you. International yokes, I'm breaking you. Economic yokes, I'm breaking you. Financial yokes, I'm breaking you. The children of Israel, the God said to Abraham, in Genesis, and it shall come to pass, your descendants shall be in captivity for 400, and year, 400 years. Is that what he said? That was God speaking. How many years? 400 years. So they couldn't escape that one. 400 years. But the extra 30 is because they refused to break the yoke. You should have been free by now. But you must, you must be aggressive and say, ah, this yoke has expired. This yoke has expired. 
And even when I was praying this morning, come here, come here. When I was praying this morning, the Lord said to me, there is a yoke that must break off this girl. This is not a life. There are yokes that must break. Hallelujah. And in the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, that yoke must break off your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't care how many family yokes are on you. They've got to break on your neck, on your shoulder, on your leg, on your hand, on your heart, on your health. They must break in the name of Jesus. I said they must break in the name of Jesus. Mkwasha, come here. Come here quickly. Listen to me. When a yoke is on your neck, turn around. When a yoke is around you, it's like this. It's like this. Even if he's strong, I slow him down with the yoke. There are people under the sound of my voice. You have been slowed down by the enemy. When you are yoked, you are stagnant. When you are yoked, you are choked. When you are yoked, you are frustrated. And every yoke upon your life, you need to break it off your life. So you can begin to make progress. Hallelujah. So you can begin to gain speed. Hallelujah. So when your life is going slow, you say, where is this yoke? Father, show me the yoke that is yoking me to one place. Hallelujah. Show me the family yoke. Economic yokes must break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. If you study, I don't have time anymore, but if you study in the book of Genesis chapter number 27, there Esau went to his father complaining. He says, Father, do you only have one blessing? Because his father had blessed his brother Jacob. Hallelujah. And he says, do you only have one blessing? Then he says, you know what? I can't really help you. But let me give you this revelation. He says, when you become restless, in fact, before that, there had been a sentence passed, and you shall save your brother. That means you will work, but your brother will eat. Ay, 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 ay. There are people here, you are working, but someone else is getting money. You work ten times harder than them, but you, they are ten times richer than you. Are you understanding me? And when you become restless, that yoke from your brother, that's when you are going to break it. Today, 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 <laughs> we are going to break anything called a family yoke. Anything called a family yoke. And we are going to break it by restlessness. In the name of Jesus, anyone in my family, on my mother's side, on my father's side, that is using me spiritually, prophetically, in the name of Jesus, as I pray today, I free myself from Pharaoh. Open your mouth and begin to pray. It is only when you are restless, you are not restless. You need to be restless. Restless. restless means you are praying with aggression. You are praying with agency. You are praying with fervency. This thing must break off me today. Oh, whatever it takes, I need to break this yoke of my life. It must break off your life. It must break off your life. Family yokes. Family yokes. They've got to break in the name of Jesus. You've got to catch it in the spirit. Lift up your right hand. Say today. Is the day that yokes break of my life as I pray aggressively, restlessly in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands. Every single yoke break of my life to open your mouth and pray. They were not counting on this morning prayer. A morning where you are fasting and praying. Breaking yokes. The Bible says when you fast and pray. Every yoke must break. Every yoke must break. Every burden must be removed. Because of the anointing. Lift up your hands to heaven. Say I refuse. To go for another business meeting. With these yokes. In the name of Jesus. I refuse Mike. I refuse to go for another business meeting with this yoke. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to go for another business meeting with this yoke. Every yoke blocking, frustrating, hindering my next level. Break today. Break today. Break today. Break today. Break today. Open your mouth and pray somebody.
Hallelujah. Get this scripture here. Job chapter 5, verse 12 and 13. The Bible says he frustrates the devices of the wicked. You hear about it? Are you understanding me? And the yoke should not only break, the yoke must be destroyed. Because if it's broken, it can be fixed. The yoke must be destroyed because of the anointing. That's Isaiah 10 27. The yoke must be destroyed. Are you listening to me? There are satanic yokes that are going to be permanently destroyed today. Are you listening? To, I wish somebody came to church for real. I said there are yokes. There are yokes that are going to be destroyed. They are going to be destroyed. Uh, I only got two amens. I said they are going to be destroyed. There's witchcraft. There are yokes that are going to be destroyed. Not broken, destroyed. Destroyed, destroyed. I need somebody here who came to church for real. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, today, in the name of Jesus, I am praying that yokes that have been operating in my life, slowing me down, this moment, they must be destroyed permanently in the name of Jesus as I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands. Yokes of delay, break of my life permanently. Open your mouth and pray. Lift up your right hand. Say these next 10 minutes. By faith, I decree as I pray, this yoke breaking, aggressive, restless, fire prayer, anything called a yoke in my life shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray aggressively. If you've never prayed aggressively, this is your first time. Open your mouth. First Thessalonians chapter number 5. The Bible says there, and even I, Paul, wanted to come to you time and again, but Satan hindered us. So Paul was hindered by satanic yokes. So you are not too, you are not too big for these yokes. But you need to be restless. Are you listening to me? Lift up your right hand. Say every yoke upon my life with this restless aggressive prayer i am breaking that yoke today in the name of jesus you know the holy ghost is saying he's saying you have been waiting when you should have been restless shout in the name of jesus today with this restless prayer i'm getting my money i'm getting my next level I wish somebody got that prayer point. Say today, today, today. Today, today, today. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I am going to get my delayed breakthroughs that have been delayed by yokes standing in my way. Yokes on my hands. Yokes on my feet. Yokes on my neck. Today, today, today. By fire by thunder by force as i pray in the holy ghost clapping my hands stomping my feet break open your mouth and pray some of you you have become masters at stressing and the lord is saying it is not stressing about an issue that changes the issue it is aggressively praying about an issue that changes the issue we're going to pray we're going to pray. Nasi tirukuna mata. Nati nasi tirukuna mata. Nasi tiruku bomba nasi. We are here to bomb the powers of darkness. Tirukuna mata. We are praying until faith are noticed. We're going to say today by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by this restless anointing upon my life. I want my breakthrough as I pray in the Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter whether it's family demons, national demons, international demons holding my money. I want my money to die. Open your mouth and pray. And the yoke must pray. I need somebody praying. Lift up your hands. The Lord is saying you are not far. You are not far. You are not far. You are not far. Are not far. Two minutes. Two minutes. Some things are going to change. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, 
I want the anointing today that breaks yokes and to change. There are things that have not changed for a long time in my life. I realize there are yokes holding me down today by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Father God, break, destroy these yokes in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray somebody. Say family yokes. Say family yokes. On my father's side. On my mother's side. Say family yokes. On my in-laws. Side. Break. Family yokes. On my mother's side. Family yokes. On my father's side. Family yokes. On my in-laws side. Break. Break. Open your mouth and pray. Lift up your hands to heaven. After yokes have broken, you rise. Are you listening to me? Say, Father, I thank you for Isaiah 60, verse number 1, that I'll arise and shine for my light has come. Raise your hands to heaven and begin to pray. We're almost closing now. grass withers and the flower fades but your word is eternal.